Hi, this is Erin Johnson, founder of Outstanding Ohio and Realtor with EXP Realty. I was born and raised and have lived my whole life here in Northeast Ohio. And in this channel, I share with you all the things I love about Ohio and why I truly think this is an outstanding place to live. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, eating, and hanging out in Northeast Ohio, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time I create a new video. If you're from Ohio and you want an opportunity to meet and engage with other Outstanding Ohioans, make sure you join our Facebook group at Outstanding Ohio. And lastly, if you're moving or thinking about relocating to Akron or Cleveland or any of the surrounding suburbs, give me a call and let's chat. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about the area and set you up with a custom home search based on your criteria. Okay, without further ado, here's your Outstanding Ohio video. Hi, this is Erin Johnson with OutstandingOhio.com. I'm here today with another Making It Monday, helping you make something great. Today we're going to be making homemade applesauce from all these fabulous apples we got from apple picking, which is one of our favorite fall family traditions. And it's easier than you would think, especially if you have one of these gadgets that takes the peel, that uh, peels and cores it for you all in one, actually makes it kind of fun. So the first thing you're going to do is peel your apples. If you have one of these, you're going to stick the apple on and then you just turn it, maybe. There we go. And this little circle lines up with the core. It starts peeling the edge off. And you'll see it peels the edge. And it gives it this fun spiral cut and takes the core off all in one. How fun is that? So you're going to do that for like 8 to 10 apples, and then I'll show you the next step. So I looked up some different recipes online, and it seems like there's not 100% exact science around this. And there was a variety. Some use white sugar, some use brown sugar, some use cinnamon, some use pumpkin pie spice. So I decided we're going to make two different batches. In this one, we're going to use brown sugar and pumpkin pie spice, and in this one we're going to use white sugar and cinnamon. So we'll let you know how we like them compared to each other. So we put about eight or so apples in there, all chopped up, or all um, sliced up. I didn't cut them any further, I guess I could, but we're going to see what happens when I don't. So I'm going to put in one cup of water, a half cup of brown sugar, and a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Keeping half teaspoon. And then it goes on medium heat, I believe, for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to stir that up here in a second. I'm going to get another cup of water. This one we're going to do one cup of water, half cup of white sugar, and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I've had this on medium heat for about 20 or so minutes, maybe 25, and I just took this banana masher, potato masher thing, and was able to mash down. For whatever reason, this is really interesting, the one with the brown sugar seems to be uh, mashing down a lot easier than the one with the white sugar. I can't, some of these are just not mashing. They're still too hard. So it must be something with the brown sugar that causes them to soften up and break down faster. I'm sure this will break down eventually. And if you like it chunky, this is all you need to do is take a spoon or a, some kind of masher and mash it down. If you want it totally smooth, you can always put it in a blender. Or if you have an immersion blender, that would be perfect for this. I might try to put this one that seems to be not mashing down as well into my Vitamix and see what happens. Stay tuned for more. So it's all done. It didn't take too long. This, um, we left the brown sugar one a little chunkier, and I did go ahead and put the white sugar one in the Vitamix, and it is completely pureed like baby food. Maybe too pureed, but depends how you like it, I suppose. Did a little taste test, and I will say the white sugar one is a lot sweeter. Possibly too sweet. I might suggest cutting down the amount of white sugar. Maybe only do a quarter of a cup, try that for that one. And uh, this one seemed real good. Uh, neither one of them had a very strong pumpkin spice or cinnamon flavor, 
which doesn't surprise me. It only called for a half teaspoon, which I thought was low. Uh, you can always add more, of course, at the end or if you went at the beginning, and that would up the cinnamon flavor. But they were both delicious. You cannot beat homemade applesauce. Really pretty quick to make other than peeling the apples. And hope you enjoy your fresh applesauce. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this and want to be up on all the great things that Ohio has to offer, whether it's people, places, activities, events, tips to make your life easier, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell so you're notified every time I create a new video. If you are looking to connect and engage with other Outstanding Ohioans, make sure you join our Facebook group at Outstanding Ohio. And if you're looking to make a move or relocate to anywhere in the Akron or Cleveland area or the suburbs, give me a call and let's chat. Thank you.